On day four of the WISIS Forum, cyber security and cyber safety took centre stage, with panels like this one devoted to national cyber security strategies for sustainable development. I do realise that uh, if we only talk to the engineers, inviting engineers to talk to themselves for technical solutions to enforce the security aspects of uh, networks or services, it's not sufficient anymore. So we need to understand uh, more requests from the global families of their needs, their expectations. Cyber security is rising up the policy agenda as the world becomes interconnected through information communication technologies. Cyber security and trust <coughs> is not necessarily a technological problem in the first place, is in the first place a political problem and it is a business problem, it's a problem with the boardroom. Unfortunately, it's a problem that's getting worse, is that cyber criminals are getting more sophisticated. We know that emails, which is what we do all every day, is the most important vector for, um, for criminals and for everyone who wants to hack. So we have all these items, that, um, all these findings that will help uh, focus on the specific topics so that you know, governments, law enforcement can uh, really have the information they need to, to fight the, 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 the criminals. On the flip side of the coin, the rise in cybercrime can create jobs. Uh, in the context of cyber security, great opportunities being missed for job creation in this space. But holistically, in the ecosystem, you need everybody. You need people to work in call centers. You need people to actually deliver services, deliver products, etc., etc. So when governments look at the human resource development plans, they should look comprehensively at, at the whole spectrum of what their capabilities are with their youth, their women, people with disabilities. They have to offer everything. People are assets. It's just how we look at them. WISIS aims not only to share knowledge and best practice about cyber security, but also about cyber safety and security. The title of a workshop that was held to show how ICTs play a key role in safety, security and disaster recovery. The goal was to use these features of social media to both collect information, especially in crisis situations. Delegates heard that ICTs aided the rescue effort after the earthquake in Nepal. The use of drones, having the chance to look from the top and let the people down on the earth localize people or specific events uh, in a very, very easy manner and without the, to, to put in risk uh, pilots on helicopters and even having the chance to use much more than one, uh, a very limited amount of, with a very limited amount of money, with a very reduced cost, was really a very, very relevant resource and on that occasion. Tomorrow, we'll get a sneak preview of the WISIS 2016 summary report. This brings together grassroots initiatives with evolving policy framework that will advance the power of ICTs for global sustainable development.